What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're welcome to your first time here. You know, guys, with all the technology we have now, it can be great. It can have, you know, huge benefits. Having a cell phone, for example, having social media, having the internet. We can stay connected with friends, family. We can look up information online. We can call during an emergency to get emergency help. You know, pretty much anywhere we are in, in the United States. So it has huge benefits however you know with all technology and with all scientific advances someone is always looking at how they can use that as a weapon how they can use that to gain power how they can use that to gain wealth how they can use that to spy on others how they can use that to spy and then blackmail others for example how they can use that technology to rob your bank account for example use that technology to steal you know, your cryptocurrency, for example. Someone's always looking at ways to use, you know, your cell phone connections, your internet connections. They're always looking for ways they can use that to spy, to control, to use that as a weapon. You know, it's like the Pentagon, for example. Everything that comes up, any, any scientific advancements, they automatically look at that as, how can we use this? as a weapon of war how can we use this as a weapon to gain more power how can we use this to spy on the people here in the u.s and abroad and we have foreign countries constantly trying to hack into our computer networks trying to hack into you know the banking system trying to hack into individual accounts for example me i've been getting a lot of emails for the last couple of months from foreign countries from people in foreign countries and they will come up send these emails and they will say we've noticed you online and we want to offer you a free Canon camera for example that was one that came through as a guy was trying to act like he was representative of Canon and just take a look at our catalog here and pick what you want any Canon camera you want up to I think it was seven thousand dollars I think it was camera equipment and Click on this link, tell us what you want, and we'll send that to you. Uh, yeah, no, they won't. First off, don't never click any links like that in suspicious emails. Second, you want to look at the email address and see where that came from. If you're not sure, a lot of times you can do a search on Google and find out what country that came from, actually. But if you look at email address, and they're saying they're from Canon, for example, but the email has nothing to do with Canon. For example, you know, an actual representative, a legitimate representative of a Canon company or any other company will have, you know, in their email address, it'll be, uh, they'll have Canon in the email address. It'll be mark at canon.com, for example, for the email address. So you know right then that's a red flag if they don't have that in there. You want to also visit the website to look at the address make sure that the address looks legit if you see an address here and you see a bunch of characters and numbers then be suspicious of that just same thing with any links that you click and emails and things like that you also want to look over here and you see this little lock over here this is a verified site to be the actual site plus this little lock is supposed to mean it's more secure and encrypted in the end encryption to keep anyone from stealing your personal information so, not sure how effective this is, but it's just another step and another indicator that the website is safer. However, links might not be safe in the website. Ads might not be safe in the website. So, I'll be careful and look. You know, you can look like you uh, take your mouse and put over top of, you know, a link like this. You can look down here and it will actually show the link that you're going to go to. Check that out. Look at those and try to figure out if you're trying to be redirected, trying to be conned and things like that. You want to also, you know, have good antivirus on your computers, on your cell phones. You want to have anti-spyware installed on those also but most of all you want to be very very careful on links you click and apps that you download because usually that's the way they get you you'll click on a link you automatically download all that spyware on your computer onto your cell phone so in text messages on face on a facebook messenger for example in 
when with uh, traditional you know, text messaging with email links. Be very careful what you click on and be sure that it's from a legitimate source before you click on any of those links. You need to also be careful when you download apps onto your cell phone because you know the app might be actually useful. However, it could also be embedded with spyware. And you'll have these user agreements that you just have to click and say you read and you agree with if we can download a lot of those apps. And those and that uh, user agreement might be 75 pages of small print. And it would take, you know, all day to actually go through that and read that fine print, that technical jargon that's put into that uh, user agreement for the app you intend to download. So most people just go ahead and download that and say they read that and agree with that. When in fact, you know, you were agreeing to be spied on, to be tracked, to be monitored, to be, to give all your information over to the producers of this app. And a lot of these producers of these apps aren't even in the U.S. They are from foreign countries. that just put in place together, sorry guys, together information to spy on citizens to hack your bank accounts, your crypto accounts, and things like that also because people's always trying to rob, trying to manipulate, trying to control, trying to blackmail, trying to gain information, wealth, and power over you and I and actually whole countries and whole financial systems. So be very careful. Clicking any links, downloading any apps, because that's the way they usually get you most often is through those links in those apps. And guys, that brings me to this article here that was published on WND, Free Press for Free Peoples. It's 1997. Warning, if you see these symbols show up on your phone, someone is watching. The ominous specter of big tech surveillance of private citizens grows more threatening by the day. To stem potential encroachment, tech giant Google said users of its Android 12 mobile operating system can now be alerted if someone is watching them or listening in on them. Google, which developed the Android system, said a new feature on its latest upgrade informs users when the camera or microphone on their phone has been activated. The New York Post reported last month. The Google feature was added to phones in the latest Android 12 update. The outlet said the new indicator appears in the top right corner of the screen. You'll see a camera or microphone icon when an app attempts to access either. It prevents apps from surreptitiously listening in or even watching through your camera. So what they're saying is if an app is trying to use your camera or microphone, you'll see that in the top right-hand corner on your phone. So I've not saw that myself, and I've tried that, so I don't know if it actually works or not, but they're saying that it does. If you have, leave a comment below. Let me know about that and when you're experienced with that in the comments. While a photo sharing app such as Instagram might have legitimate reasons to access your phone's camera, if you notice that it's being used by an unknown app, it could mean you're being spied on. Cyber experts have uncovered countless apps that have inappropriate access to the camera on Android phones, the Post reported. It's ironic that Google is rolling out privacy upgrades considering, considering the world's largest search engine has been repeatedly accused of spying on its billions of users worldwide. Google has worked its way into virtually every aspect of your life and the search giant's network of interrelated apps and services capture, share, and relay on a great deal of personal information about you, in Business Insider reported in 2020. Google tracks your search history, for example, as well as your mobile device's location, the ads you view, the videos you watch, and more. While the internet, cell phones, and computers are useful technological advancements that have made our lives easier, Big Tech now has unchecked, unfettered powers over all of our lives. We are spied on constantly and don't even realize it. So guys, be very careful when you're online and be very, very careful when you click any links in emails and text messages on social media, online, anywhere. Be very careful with those links you click. Also, you want to have, you know, great awareness of what apps you download and be very aware of those user agreements you want to also have you know some good anti-virus and anti-spyware software set up on your computers on your cell phones on your notebooks and things like that to hopefully catch some of that spying but most of all you know you want to use common sense about what sites you go to what links you click and what apps you download and use 
anyways guys hope this video will help if it did give it a big thumbs up greatly appreciate it thanks for watching i'm gonna create more out of here and i'll see you all in the next video hopefully